Very often there is such situation, for example, with colleagues at work or in family also, that someone gain more power and someone has less power. And when a person with the spirit of criticism inside come to some place where there are a lot of people, this spirit wants to find a new victim and whom does it choose? It is very simple. It chooses the weakest person. The person who is weak at this moment, who doesn't expect something bad from others, who doesn't feel like to have defense, who doesn't think about to feel some negative and condemnation. Exactly this person is under the attack of the spirit. If you work in some big corporation, if you have a big family or appear to be in some place where there are a lot of people and contact with people who are used to criticize, then you should know the features of such people who have this virus of condemnation and criticism. How this person may look like? The first feature, which you may mention from the first sight at the person, his face. It is always unsatisfied. No matter what is happening around, people may, may celebrate something or talk positively about the good weekend has just passed and so on. But this person is unsatisfied anyway. The holiday is not at time what he wants. It was too hot on weekend or too cold and so on. This is the first feature of a person in whom the spirit of condemnation and criticism lives. Another feature is that such person always tells his dissatisfaction to other people. He sees all the details and carps to them. Such person is not able to forgive us for something. The last word should always be only his. He disturbs everywhere. And now please, Listen to your intuition and you will find the third feature for sure. Our intuition works at a time just when we come into some place where there are a lot of people. Oh, I don't like this person. He is not sympathy for me. There is such word as antipathy. So what is it? This is just our reaction to the person in whom the spirit of criticism lives and develops. My soul always tells me that I shouldn't contact with this or that person. And you feel inside such feeling that you don't want to communicate with somebody. But we all live in civilized countries, Europe, America and others. And what is accepted in these countries? It is accepted to demonstrate friendliness and even if some person due to your intuition is not sympathetic one to you, Anyway, you try to make a contact with him. So we try to be friendly and come to the person for communication. The thing is that at this moment we get a the risk zone. And the spirit of criticism and condemnation that lives inside the person will use this situation, this opportunity to come into us also. Thus, our intuition is right. If you feel some discomfort with some person, if you feel some antipathy to the person, try not to communicate closely with such person. Please, don't show him that you're afraid of him. Be polite, but avoid personal contact for the own harmony and safety.